Hello, my name is Keith Hill and I'm with Home Run Automation and Safety. Today's video is going to be demonstrating how the dynamic muting works using our F3 SG Safety Global Light Curtain along with our F3W muting sensors. Presently I'm hooked up with the PC to the light curtains and I am online. The first thing that we're going to do is, is we're going to come up here and we're going to log in. And we will log in under the administrative level. Our password default is four zeros. So I'll enter that in and I'll say OK. OK. Now we'll give it a second. And since we don't know how the light curtain was set up before, we're going to come into the recovery and we're going to click on this icon and we'll fit, click on reset the factory default. We'll give it a second here and then the software will tell us down here that it was successfully set back to factory default. Okay, now we'll come back up to the top of the page and we'll go down to muting slash override and double click on that. And that'll bring up our muting screen. In the middle here we do have the ability that if we are doing a teach-in we can actually see what the light curtain, light curtain is seeing. Uh, but in this case, we're going to be doing a manual operation on the setup. So this screen here won't really show us a whole lot on that. Uh, we do have the ability to come up here and lessen the beams if we want. So it's kind of like um, zooming in or going back out to see the full length of the curtain. Uh, we do have the ability down at the bottom to either view our lower axes under number of beams or sensor length in millimeters. In this case, we'll just set it up as number of beams. All right, now the first step is, is you do want to make sure that muting is enabled. Now, since we are using the F3W muting sensors, we do want to use the muting mode pull down and select exit only muting. You do have the, ab the ability that once you do set it up you can click here and you can quickly just view while you're holding this down you can quickly view to see how your uh, sensor settings are set up otherwise if you release it it goes back to the normal page. If you do physically want to do some changes you can come down here and click on time information settings and then it will stay in this menu until you hit close. But here you have the ability to set up various different timing for each one of the timing features using the exit only muting setup. But for now, just for this demonstration, we really don't need to do much. So we're just going to hit close and get back to our original screen. All right, now we're going to want to make sure that we are set up in the manual mode. And since I'm just going to use dynamic muting, I'm going to keep the muting zone the complete length of the light curtain because we're going to come in and measure each product as we're going through. So we can keep this completely opened up. And then we're going to come down to dynamic muting and we're going to click on enable. Once we have that enabled, we do have the ability to adjust the measurement time. Now, since I just want to kind of move it through fairly quickly, I'm going to go and take this slider and slide it all the way down so that it only gives us one second to measure the actual present, uh, the product height. We do have the ability to select the number of allowable beams. In this case, we could just leave it at one. So if for any reason the product that we send through is one beam less in size, we will not trip the light curtain. We will allow that to be one beam less than what the actual measured size is. You can set that to zero if you want. In this case, we'll just leave it at one. All right. So now that's basically all that we do need to do for this uh, demonstration. So we're going to come back up to the top of the page. And then if, in fact, you have the first revision firmware of light curtains, 
since we set it back to factory default we do need to come into lamp settings so we'll click on that and we'll set up our lamp uh, settings and our settings are going to be for the auxiliary output we do want to make sure that this is set up for muting override information and we do want to make sure that it is set up as a disable and set up for on time, which it is. So everything's good there. Our muting priority two, we want to make sure that this is set up for muting override information. So we'll click on that. I do want to have the disable icon lit and we're gonna change this to on one time. For the priority one, we are going to go and use the pull down and make sure that it's set up for safety output information, which is up at the top. And I'm going to go enable. And I will also make sure that this is set to solid on. For our priority three, we want to make sure that this is set up for safety output information. So we'll scroll all the way up to the top, click on that. We will make sure it's disabled and that this is set for solid on. So it's good just to come in here uh, if you're unsure which version of software you have or firmware on the light current. It's good just to come in here to verify that these are all set proper so that your light does work correctly. So after you've done all that, all we got to do is, is we just need to come up to this icon here and press on it to write the configuration to the light curtain. I'll click on write and we'll give it a couple seconds to write to the light curtain. All right, so now we got that done, we can come back to the top of the page and I'm going to click up here to set monitoring and it'll ask me if it's okay and I will say yes or okay and give it a second. Okay. Now we've gone and set the light curtain up so it is in the monitoring state. I'm also going to come in here and double click and we'll start this so you can go and see how it's dynamically measuring uh, each product that I put through the light curtain. So now that ends the software setup and we will go live. Today I have various different items that are physically different in size. I got two items here that are basically the same size, but you can see I've got a little notch cut out of this one to demonstrate that once the measurement is physically taken here, if the product grows in height, the light curtain should catch it. If I reverse the direction that it goes through the light curtain, it will measure this portion, and then as it goes lower, that should be okay, should allow it to go through. So for now, I'm just going to start with these two items, which are physically different in size, just to demonstrate how it goes on through. Now as it's going through, I'm going to get my muting, it's going to take a measurement, and then it's going to pass it, saying that everything was okay. If I come through, and bring the object through. I allow it to take the measurement. I put my hand in there. It says, hey, something was wrong. So we have to look into that. So here's a smaller item. It's gonna go through, physically measure it, and allow it to pass because the whole product was the same height. Now, we're gonna take this test, fix, test piece, and I'm gonna have it measure this first and then hopefully we'll be able to detect the top part growing. So I'm going to come on through. I'm going to get it. I'm going to allow it to make a measurement. And boom, the light curtain catches it because the product physically grew in physical height. But now if I come and pass it through this way, so I'm going less, it should allow it to pass through because it's going to go take a measurement and then come on through saying everything was fine because the product height physically went smaller. So that ends the demonstration of how to demonstrate the dynamic muting measurement using our F3SG safety global light curtain along with our F3W muting sensors. 
Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.